He's coming back after those that have given their life to him. So you can come and you can be going in and off the pew for 40 years and not know who Jesus is. Amen. So you want to make sure that you make an open confession, open commitment to give your life to him. Because coming in here is not enough. You got to respond once you come in. So if you have not given him your life, you need to do that before it's everlasting too late. And I want to especially say to the young people, don't be tricked. Don't be fooled. If you're looking at what's happening out in that world, that's your total enemy. That's your total enemy. And they're helping uh, the cooperation to come like Pharaoh told Moses. You go on and worship, but lead the children to me. The adversary wants us to think that you leave the children out there and let them do what they want to do, and y'all just go to church. But children, the summons is to you too. You need to come and give your life to Jesus. You need to give it to him because the way they're killing out there now and you don't have your life is not even promised to you. Amen. So many innocent young people have been out in the wrong car with the wrong person or maybe with the right person. And somebody that was on the enemy's side just came by and just started shooting. Why? Because they felt like they wanted to kill somebody. Didn't have no reason. Just on GP. And once you leave out of here and you don't have no Christ in your life, don't think it's going to be all right. I know you'll go somewhere and some preacher will preach a, 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 a sermon, a funeral, and talk about how God plucked a flower. If you don't know Jesus, you, no flower is not being plucked. That's a weed. Everybody that does not have Jesus. It's a weed. Yeah. So you want to, you want to uh, make up in your mind that it's time. It's your time. This is your time. You better get ready because he's coming again. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He is coming. Oh, he's coming again. Coming again. Oh, you need to be ready. Better get ready. Because he's coming again. Oh, he's coming again. He's coming again. He's coming again. Oh, you want to be ready. You better get ready. Because he's Cause coming. He coming again. He's coming again. He's coming again. He's coming again. Oh, you better be ready. Because he's coming. Cause he Coming again. Anybody bold enough say he's coming for me one day? He's coming for me. He's coming for me. Oh, you better be ready. Better be ready. Cause he's coming. Cause he's coming for me. Oh, he's coming. He's coming for me. He's coming again for me. He's coming for me. Oh, you better get ready. Ready, cause he's coming for me. Hallelujah. Lift those hands all over the place. Father God, we bless you today. And we thank you right now, Lord. What you have done, what you've spoken to us, how you've spoken to us individually, personally. Oh God, how we thank you. We thank you for loving us the way you do. Thank you for being concerned about our state and our condition. And, oh, God, as you have sobered up our pure mind, you've caused us to understand that it's no time for dibbly-dabbling, but it's time for getting on one side and staying on that side. Yeah, you don't have time to entertain the spirit of darkness and the spirit of light. You're on one side or the other. And you got to let it be known which way you're going. Perhaps in here while your hands are raised, somebody may have a sickness in your body. If there is, 
All you have to do is put it up before him and ask him to heal you. Ask him to heal your body, touch you, and make you every whit whole. Just like he will forgive your sins, he will likewise touch your body and make you every whit whole. Hallelujah to God. Whatever it is that may be troubling you, not only your body, but he'll touch your mind. He'll touch your mind. He's a heart fixer. He's a mind regulator, and he knows how to regulate what's going wrong. He'll even walk in your home and bring peace in the midst of the storm. Come on, you, have, you can have that if you ask him. You can't be too proud to make your request known. What you want him to do. Heal you in every area of your life. Every area of your body. God can heal you. Come on, but you got to be willing to commit it up to him. Commit it and believe he can do it. Don't get comfortable living with bad situations. Bad circumstances. You put it up to him. And he'll make everything all right. I'm talking about the God that is our healer. I'm talking about the God that is our deliverer that knows how to make everything all right. Begin to pray right now. We committed ourselves for this entire month. I don't know if anybody said anything about it this morning, but some of you may want to join in with us. We are putting our unsaved loved ones on the altar. Our children, our husbands, our wives, our cousins, our nieces and nephews. We're going to keep them lifted up this month. And we believe with all our heart that God's going to bring them in. God's going to bring them in. He said, you have not because you ask not. And just as sure as you ask him, God said, I will do something about it. And right now, we're going to spend a few minutes to call out names in the atmosphere. Put them up there. Come on, put them up there. Nobody's listening to you. Put those names up there. Hallelujah. Call them one by one, name by name. Put them out there. Amen to God. You don't want to see them go and be everlastingly lost. Right now, God. Right now, God. Lift the veil off their eyes. Oh, God, cause them to see God. Bring them in before it's too late. It's not enough just for me to come in. But, God, I want them to be saved right now. Put them up there. Come on, come on. Open your mouth. How many of you mean this thing? I mean this thing. Hallelujah to God. Put their names out there. Glory to God. Yeah, God, say it like you mean it. Pray it like you want it to happen. And pray it also like you believe God's going to do it. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. We're not going to let it be said too late. You're not going to have the blood on your hand because you didn't lift them up before God and ask him to save them. Right now, right now, you know the condition. You know whether your mother is saved. You know whether your father is saved. Your sisters are your brothers. Lift them up. Hallelujah. Like somebody lifted you one day. Somebody call your name. Somebody call your name. And you're glad today that he knows your name. He knows your name today. Hallelujah. He knows your name. Because somebody called it out before him. So you call somebody else's name. Come on. God said, I want productivity. At least you got to be concerned. You got to have a desire. Hallelujah. See somebody else come in. 